Hello everybody, Dr. Mustafa Sheikh here from The Dentalist. I hope you would be great. And today we're going to talk about the pathogenesis of dental plaque and its contributing factors towards the formation of dental caries. Now before starting, you should know the components of dental plaque. So dental plaque consists of three main components. First one is the bacterial polysaccharides. Secondly, it would obviously have the bacterial microorganisms, all right? And then thirdly, it has a matrix that is derived from the salivary mucin. Now that you know the components of dental plaque, you should also know how dental plaque is actually formed. So let's talk about that. Since we know that dental plaque is acquired on the tooth and is not normally present, so initially the tooth is clean. Then what happens is if we do not keep the tooth clean, the tooth gets surrounded by a thin film coating. And that thin film coating is called as what? The salivary pellicle. Salivary pellicle is a thin film and it's made of what? Salivary mucins, a matrix of salivary mucins. Okay? So what it does it, it, is it gets attached to the tooth surface. Now since we know that the bacteria do not have any suitable site on a sound tooth surface for it to attach itself to the tooth. Therefore, this uh, salivary pellicle serves as a source of attachment for the bacteria with the tooth, okay? So consider the salivary pellicle as a double masking tape. One side of it is attaching the tooth surface and then the other side of it gives the site of attachment to the bacteria. This way, the bacteria are attached to the tooth. And as the days progress, this complex gets more and more bacteria, invites more and more bacteria inside. And a soft, thick layer, uh, which, was a, which was thin previously, it becomes thick because the bacteria obviously secrete polysaccharides and then the count of bacteria also increases in this certain area. And the third thing is the salivary matrix of the salivary mucin. So what happens is these three things increase in number and they form dental plug. So as the days pass by, the plug starts getting mature and therefore we give it a name of mature plug. Now to clear your concept, let me tell you this. The salivary pellicle that is uh, attached on the tooth surface at first is not harmful itself. It only provides a site of attachment to the bacteria, which is pretty normal. So, um, the salivary pellicle is not something that we can get rid of. We have to live with it. So what we usually recommend, if we cannot brush, we clean our mouth orally with the mouth rinses and everything. Why do we do that? So that this salivary pellicle does not get formed because it's a natural process. A thin layer, a thin coating of saliva would definitely come on your tooth after every few minutes. You cannot stop it. All you can do is you can resist or you can restrict the bacteria that get attached to the salivary pellicle leading to dental block formation, okay? I hope this cleared your concept out a little bit. All right, here's an assignment for you. I want you to look for the functions or the benefits of salivary pellicle. The one who writes them down in the comment section first will get a giveaway from us. Oh, and here's the interesting part. Like we talked about the bacteria getting attached to the salivary pellicle, it's not a certain single type of bacteria that gets attached. There are colonies, there are different types of colonies that get attached to the salivary pellicle and form dental plug. So when these different colonies uh, get attached to the salivary pellicle, they give it a shape of mushroom-shaped colonies. That's what we call it when we look at it in, under the microscope. Now let's connect this plug formation with its contribution towards the occurrence of dental caries. Now as we all know and we discussed in detail about what dental caries is, uh, I would like you to watch uh, the previous video 
in case if you haven't. So basically, dental caries is a demineralization of what? Of the tooth surface that is caused by the what? By the action of bacteria on the tooth, right? Bacteria release acid, and what happens then is the decay as a result. Okay, so this is how dental caries occur. Now, coming back to dental clock, uh, just imagine that there's salivary pellicle, then there's dental plug, and what does dental plug consist of? Bacteria, right? And not, not a single type of bacteria, but tremendous amounts of colonies that are living inside that whole bunch of dental plug. Now what that bacterial microorganism colony do is they release what? They release acids as a result of this acid production they're resting on the tooth itself right so they would do what they would demineralize the tooth resulting in the decay resulting in the defect resulting in caries now in this short video what i expect from you is that you would know what dental plaque is how it's formed and its contribution towards the occurrence of dental caries. I hope these three points are clear to you and I'll see you in the other video talking more about dental caries. This is Dr. Shay saying goodbye to you. Take care till we meet again.